Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, um, I understand the need to raise money. <laughs> but when you have a city council meeting and then you put it in the Peninsula Daily News, right. And you hyperlink to the GoFundMe site, yes. And I think it's fair, I really do, for any sort of, because it is 2.9%. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's convincing me to say that. I think that's the actual average price that everybody pays for transactions for credit cards. Yes. But the question is, um, where are the homeless going to sit if you put a fence up? So, mm -hmm. Now, uh, I could go to Peninsula Daily News. Yes. I think I've documented that my sons are in the wrong grades. Right. <laughs> and I've sent them 100 emails. Yes. And it seems that forgery and fraud uh, is something that right now. See, I could probably open a GoFundMe campaign. Mm -hmm. And then I'd get some sort of link. And then every time I put videos on Facebook, yes. Those that want to make a donation, they could. Yes. And the idea of me getting a bank account, well, I could probably borrow $50, yes. Open an account, yes. Maybe a savings account or just a regular checking account, poop. <laughs> no monthly fee, yes. And then I could withdraw everything but uh, maybe $1, and then I could, I could give that loan back to whomever it is that lent me the money, yes. <laughs> now, um, I kind of do understand how this works, mm -hmm. The question I have is, uh, how much data is being shared with the service providers of uh, Gmail and Facebook? Yeah. Now, I know the YouTube channels, I mean, do they share uh, any data with service providers? <laughs> I'd just like to know of all the data that has been generated, yes, from every post in every one of the drives, yes, as well as every email that I've sent from all the email accounts. Right, let's go here. Mm -hmm. As well as all the Facebook posts that you were hiding. Yes, mm -hmm. because I didn't hide them. Ouch. I'd like to know of this big cover-up on the part of the county and the state. Yes. How much actual data has been shared with any of the service providers right now? <laughs> now, I think, oh, hello. Um... There could be some IP addresses. I keep going through them. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we look at the data uh, sh uh, service providers, those that share? Uh-huh. Uh, see, it, to make medium work mm -hmm. as a corporation, yes, they log user data and share it with service providers. Right. Now, who is it that owns a media, uh, medium corporation, Pooch? It wouldn't be the Gates family. I mean... Medium can be used as a spiritual term, like you're a medium that contacts the dead. Yes, your deceased relative. <laughs> that old witch. Move in the gates right now. I tell you something. It did affect my spirituality. Mm -hmm. When I had to think of the medium. Mm -hmm. Now, you could say medium as in, uh, let's see, medium. Uh, high. There's, there's like low, medium, and high. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or there could be the medium between a website and uh, the other. Oh, <laughs> nobody's spiritualizing the internet right now. <laughs> now let's say, okay, that snowflake. Nobody is actually broadcasting their spirituality through any web page or website, are they? Yes. I mean, if you connected, let's say you're a witch. <laughs> And you happen to have some direct in the... <sighs> it would be a huge lawsuit, one of those... Um, well, it would be class action because not a, not a lot of people are sensitive to the spirituality like I am. <laughs> Just the thought of the medium. <sighs> <laughs>